We have all heard about Venice at least once in our lifetimes. Whether it be in books or shows or movies, known famously as the City of Water, Venice is not a place to miss out on if you ever visit Italy or plan to. There is one thing for sure though. All the pictures that you see on the internet and in the books, the pictures do not do justice to the grand, lavish canals of Venice, the historic Venetian buildings, and the scenic views. And if you're planning to visit and experience the beauty of Venice, well, you're in the right place. Because today, we'll tell you the top 5 things you have to do in Venice. But before we start, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, press the bell icon so you never have to miss out on future uploads about more tourist spots. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 5. Doge's Palace Located in Plaza San Marco, this place was the seat of the government at the time of rule in the Venetian Republic. The intricate detailing mixed with the rhythmic pointed arches proved this palace to be a masterpiece of the Gothic movement in architecture. The facade is the biggest example of this with its logias that overlook the plaza. The interior is just as fascinating as the exterior, with incredible masterpieces of art by the artists Titian, Veronese, Tintoretto, a Vittoria and Taipolo that are surrounded by council chambers, residential apartments, and prison cells make this place totally worth the visit. Number 4. Basilica di San Marco Also residing in the Plaza San Marco is the Byzantine marvel Basilica di San Marco. The glorious gold mosaics and sculptures scream the typical Byzantine design as it also blends the architectural styles of the East and the West. It has always been the center of public as well as religious life in Venice. If you have a keen interest in the history of Venice and the Byzantines, this is the place for you. It is also considered as one of the most beautiful cathedrals despite the reconstructions, which, not to worry, preserve its oriental aspects that are present to fascinate its visitors. Trust me, you history lovers, it's worth the visit. Number 3. Church of San Sebastiano Another religious wonder you need to add to your list is the Church of San Sebastiano. The facade, which overlooks the canal, welcomes you with the incredibly detailed sculptures of St. Jerome, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and St. Sebastian. Not just this, the interior also features some of the greatest works of Venetian Renaissance master Paolo Taipolo. Paintings and frescoes by Veronese, which include the paintings depicting Life of Esther and the Trial and Martyrdom of St. Sebastian. So if you're looking for beautiful paintings and some real beautiful architecture, this is the place to go. Number 2. Bridge of Sighs Another architectural wonder also placed in the Plaza San Marco is the Bridge of Sighs. And don't worry, the place isn't as sad as the name makes it sound. It actually derives from the fact that it was part of the prison complex of the Doge Palace, and the convicts, having received their sentence, had to cross it to enter the new prison. This was the last place they stepped on before their incarceration, and you could only imagine the number of sighs that came out of them. However, that is just the past, because now it has happiness attached to it with the opportunity to create memories for the visitors. Number 1. Grand Canal This might be the most hyped place to visit in Venice, as this is what it is known for. A waterway that runs through the middle of Venice from the railway station of San Marco. There are multiple ways to visit this canal, such as the water bus, water taxis, and the gondolas. Water taxis are the easiest option for you to visit the smaller, scenic canals. And it also gives you the option to slow down as you wish, as it will be your own small group on board. Who wouldn't love that, right? And with that, we've come to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, press the bell icon so you never miss out on more uploads. And I'll see you next time. Till then, peace out and have a great day.